Yo, what up, guys? STG Sub the Gamer 2016, a brand new year, and a brand new year of goals. A brand new year of goals. But uh, to reflect before we start our resolutions for 20 for 2016, and you know, I want to keep this video short, but I know it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Last year's video was like 20 minutes, bro. Uh, this video, I want to keep it under 10. I don't think it's gonna happen. But you know what? It's cool. It's cool. I got it. I got I got to share these things. So just to reflect on 2015. We've done a lot, and you know, I'm very grateful because I feel like I really didn't do much. But then when you think about it, and it, 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 I'm so grateful for it. You know, some of the things include obviously growing the YouTube channel. It grew a lot more. Uh, other things include uh, you know going to California to play 2K16. Uh, obviously, we we launched our first mobile applications, which you know doesn't get too much publicity. But you know, it, it, I'm cool to have done that. Uh, merchandise, like same thing with the mobile apps, doesn't have too much publicity, but we have sold merchandise before. Uh, we've launched Gamer GM, we've launched uh, you know Brand Exposure, and we'll talk about that in the resolutions for 2016. STG Media grew a whole bunch, partners amazing, amazing group of people. I mean, we graduated college, that's some awesome stuff. And you know, I changed my my, my life and my philosophy, and if you will, uh, my mindset on things in in a way that I really can't describe on camera. But I'm telling you, it really changed my life for good we made some sacrifices that were not that were very hard at first but you know I can see I can see them paying off now and I'm so grateful to make those sacrifices they were hard they were very hard you know up front those are the things where you know in the back of your mind they're right but you know up front it's it's so hard but once you make those sacrifices it pays off so that's just some of the stuff that we've done in 2015 obviously we went to some Bulls games we had a lot of fun we played basketball I think I've gotten better at basketball compared to previous years so we've done a lot of awesome things and I'm very grateful that's just me reflecting back on 2015 obviously we've done a lot more I just can't think of anything right now like hating is overrated and stuff like that but now we're gonna be talking about the 2016 resolutions for 2016 now obviously I wish I was recording this in my main camera this t3i that I have but this thing is literally broken uh, so I'm gonna have to get a brand new camera so if you have any suggestions let me know in the comments down below that's I guess resolution number one to get a brand new camera so I can stop using this camera it's nice it had its due but now it's time you know to go even better and you, once you guys saw the, 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 the videos with that camera you're like bro that's amazing so we want to get something on that level but anyway CMSTG I have a list of resolutions that I've made for 2016 now this is going to be you know just a disclaimer now some some goals that I have for 2016 number one I probably can't share because they might be very personal uh, so that's one right there I'll, also some goals uh, might not even be goals right now right some goals I probably haven't even thought of but they probably will come and finally number three there's just some secrets that I have planned for you guys that I literally just can't talk about right now but we will be showing them and revealing them as this year goes by but nonetheless this is a huge chunk of the goals that I want to do not the personal ones and even the personal ones I might tell you guys soon you know we always talk in the vlog vlogs whatever you want to call it pack openings but these are a bunch of goals that I want to accomplish and I'd be very happy to accomplish these so we're gonna start off so we're gonna start off with YouTube first right you're watching this video a lot, a lot of people like to click off the video after like 10 minutes or five minutes right so we're gonna start with YouTube first man let's get these YouTube goals so the first goal right here I'm not gonna go super high I'm not gonna go super big number one goal is 300,000 subscribers we're pretty close we're 40k away should be very doable that's just a goal I would be very grateful for 300k dog super grateful for 300k if we can get 300k bro I'd be so happy in terms of that I also want to step up my game in YouTube in terms of my t-shirts I want to start making more t-shirts and start uh, you know showcasing the ones that we already have because they're flames dog there's some nice t-shirts bro a lot of you guys actually bought some you know I don't link it much but I will start doing that and you know maybe make some giveaways and updates and stuff like that also I want to get some applications done more applications maybe an SCG interactive app we'll see about that bro I'm thinking about vlogging that's also something that I feel like I would do really well at and I know you guys will like it uh, so that's definitely something that I'm thinking about obviously time is just the biggest constraint right obviously uh, update more content bro I know this past six months I've barely been uploading anything after the first week of 2k which we went ham but beside that it's just been ugh. I, I could be the first one you know how to tell me I know 
Uh, so obviously stop with the game on YouTube. I still have some time left in my classes. Uh, I have like four to five months. We finish in May. So I'm really going to try my best to still do work uh, during these five months. But you bet when summer comes, it's, it's game over. But nonetheless, CMSTG, that's pretty much it for YouTube, obviously. Uh, you know, everything else does correspond with YouTube. But I have a lot of goals this year. And YouTube is just one fraction of the goals. This is one fraction of my goals. But definitely step up YouTube. And YouTube is something I'm never going to quit. I see you guys all the time. This this past week alone, I saw you guys at weddings. I saw you guys at basketball games. I saw you guys at Walmart. I saw you guys everywhere, bro. So it's just to have such a big following, man. I'm so grateful for. I would never stop. Following increases every day. It's it's something that it's a blessing and it's something I'm gonna work hard for. And I have so many goals. And you know, obviously, I wanna you know a big goal of mine is to prove that you could do anything you want. You know, you could do anything you want if you put your mind to it. So I wanna do everything. Bro. That's just me, man. Anything's possible if you put your mind to it. So I got a lot of goals. So let's get to this before we talk about YouTube for 45 minutes. The next goal. This is a very big one. This does have to deal with YouTube, and this is STG Media. This is STG Media. Now, STG Media is a YouTube network I started in 2014, I believe, in August. Uh, it's crazy. It's, it's almost in me two years. It's a year and a half right now. I'm so grateful for it. It's grown amazingly well. You know, partners like uh, Jesse the Laser has been with STG Media. It's, it's crazy, man. And obviously, STG Media has some amazing group of partners right now, bro, who are killing it. I remember when they first started, and now we see them now, bro. It's amazing. They've grown so well. Over 20k subs, over 10k subs, over 30k subs. It's absolutely amazing. So much respect. Very excited to see how well they do this year. And the main thing I'm making this part about STG Media is. I'm actually I actually want to step up my STG media game right now this is all part-time work right so you know once I have full-time work on my hands I'm actually gonna be trying my best to hire individuals and making a team for STG media active recruiting active merchandise active new le newsletters all this crazy stuff you know we got so many plans down for you guys and getting support from freedom as well they're obviously acknowledging how well this is doing so we might get a fun from them as well great things happening for STG media I promise you bro uh, the hub channel is gonna be going super active so much respect to crispy flakes the number one uh, hub channel manager of all time bro check him out subscribe to him crispy flakes amazing dude he's an SCG media partner as well he, I have no you have no idea how grateful I am if your videos ever been on the SCG media hub channel go on Twitter and give this guy a follow and thank him because it's all him it's all him so that STG Media Reborn, bro, it's going to be crazy. You can go ahead and check the website. It's in the, it's in the description down below. Uh, go ahead and get, become a YouTube partner. I do intend to make a full, full in-depth how to become a YouTube partner, how to grow your channel, how to do all that good stuff video this 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 month, right? So that's obviously coming down soon. So STG Media Reborn is going to be nice. I actually wrote Reborn because a lot of things we are trying to bring back to life. So STG Media, it's already to life, but we got to make it super saiyan. Now, Gamer GM is definitely I wrote Reborn on that because that's something we got to reborn. Gamer GM is a gaming channel, a uh, gaming, uh, not channel, it's a gaming website that I've started maybe a couple of months ago. Uh, you know, I'm really grateful for it because when we first started, it was it was flaming, right? We, we made it, I think, right before 2K16 came out, and it was flaming, you know? People were watching, people were viewing, it was very fun, it was like starting a brand new YouTube channel again, and then obviously I got really drowned with my, my classes, and then I had to just, you know, focus on YouTube, obviously, and then obviously I had to focus on my education that I'm taking right now, and it's non-secular, so it's not like math, it's none of that, it's, it's, it's you know, it's personal education that I'm really enjoying, right? Uh, spiritual education, if you will, and, and I'm learning a language. So, you know, uh, we totally talked about that, right? So basically, with, with Gamer GM, I just really did not have the time, and I actually did make a video asking for people to apply apply to Gamer GM and people actually really wanted to do it for free and starting writing articles write, writing articles and I actually do have these individuals names written down and I have that doc which I can contact you so don't think I forgot about y'all because once I start Gamer GM again I want to go full force and I want you guys on the team so if you like to write you like to do all that stuff let me know in the comments down below go ahead and go on Gamer GM I did have a doc that I wrote like you know a couple months ago you can go ahead and fill that out because I'm going to be referring to that doc as soon as I start Gamer GM back so yeah it's a gaming it's a gaming website for sports 2k man and all that good stuff it's going to be it's going to be popping once we go back bro camera gm reborn huge goal for 2016 the second one is brand exposure reborn this is a second this is another company that i started a little bit earlier than gamer gm possibly in the summer of 2015 a beautiful company a beautiful vision in my opinion as well with this with this uh, this this is basically a website which is full branding branding brand exposure you know you know we make websites we make mobile applications we make you know logos we make any single thing that's possible to be made basically just updating your brand 
updating your brand in any single thing, t-shirts, anything, right? Beautiful vision. And the marketing plan we had for this was very, very well. But like I said, the time execution just was not there. But everybody's still on board. And we are going to be launching, relaunching very soon. Maybe in March. You know, obviously May, everything's going down. But I do want to start trying to start getting some things going in March, maybe even in February, right? You know, this is this is less. I've talked to some of the dudes from Aldi who are part of all these things, man. They, they're down. It's just the time. It's just a time constraint. I have things of priority right now. Right now, the education I'm getting is the biggest priority because... I'm not going to be getting this anymore. There might be a chance, but I'm just saying you got to. I'm paying money for this education, right? And so you got to, you got to, you got to, you got to value and prioritize things. And this is some things that changed my life. This, this class is that I'm in, right? It's, it literally has. Anyways, next thing on the list is a. Ooh, I can't say the name yet. Okay, this is basically a charity application that my friends and I are working on. I don't even know if you guys know I'm doing this, but yes, it's it's three three other of my friends and I. We are working on a very nice charity application, and things are actually moving. Really Really well uh, websites almost done mobile applications coming down uh, things are going really well you know the league we have on Saturdays that's actually sponsoring for this uh, for this application so I don't want to reveal too much but once we are done and officially live I will make a video on this it's something I don't think any of you guys know that we're doing but you know maybe on Twitter follow me but yes this is gonna be awesome I can't wait to share this with you guys it's kind of a secret but you know it's gonna be awesome once we are live so just, just get ready for that Next thing, obviously, I want to get back and keep on going is hating is overrated. This is a Facebook page that I have started this past year very soon. I think in the month of December, almost at 500 Facebook likes. You can go ahead and uh, go ahead and just type in hating is overrated on Facebook. It should be there. We're almost at 500 likes. It started off really well, kind of kind of dying down now. Obviously, that's that's Facebook, but we got to keep at it. And if you obviously want to submit anything to hating is overrated, make sure you just submit something to hating is overrated at gmail.com. So to the page, how the format is, and just email me your thing, bro. Like I told you, hating is overrated. Treat others the way you want to be treating. Hating is overrated. I'm a big fan of that, bro. I love. I want to cause. Uh, awareness for this for this horrible crime that happens in the world where people hate on each other people bully each other people are racist to each other I'm definitely against that and I definitely 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 am happy that I have started this thing and I'm grateful for the support we've gotten on this so far some people like this ain't gonna change anything but you'd be surprised how how even one post has changed an individual's life bro. you don't even know that but it, it causes awareness and people see it people might not click like people might not even uh, people might not might click like but people do read that and it could make a change in someone's life it makes a change in one person's life bro it's free it's what I, you gotta do it bro much respect to everybody that supports it hating is overrated definitely want to continue that and continue it to a more prestigious degree in 2016 so the next thing we have is a lifting regimen I won't lie, 26, 2015, especially the second half, I have not had a lifting regimen. I probably haven't worked out in four days in a row, or at least three times in a week in like a year. Maybe even longer, bro. I mean, high school, I would go crazy lifting, bro. I was probably stronger back then. I mean, don't get me wrong, I play ball all the time. I think I've gotten so much better in basketball uh, compared to my past. You guys saw my transformation basketball video. Look, we're already over 10 minutes. Yeah, this video's going to be long. But lifting regimen is something that I definitely have to step up my game in. And it's just a time constraint. But like I said, you, you got to make the time. Time. So I'm gonna have to make the time. I mean, during my school days, I say three, four hours a day, and that's not. And you know, there's a lot you can do in a day. You just gotta make the most out of it. So lifting regimen is definitely something I want to do, and that obviously does correspond to Road to Duncan, which every single person in the world is asking me about. The thing about Road to Duncan is, bro, I sprained my ankle, and when I sprained my ankle, uh, I had to get off the weights for some time. And obviously, then we were loaded with school. Then I have my basketball league every Saturday, and I have so many things going on that I had to prioritize my things, right? So I want to give you guys. And first of all, my camera's broken too, and I really want to make Road to Duncan an amazing series and a very consistent series so don't think I stopped I'm just taking a temporary pause because of the time that I have but Road to Duncan obviously once the lifting regimen is there it's definitely going down but I hope you guys are enjoying the IRL videos that I've been making to you know to kind of subdue it because uh, I've been playing a lot of basketball and IRL videos come down today too so yes okay so the second thing I have is a kind of a secret this is going to be released possibly this month just expect it to be a way to improve my brand if you will a personalized branded something so just just wait on that I have it written out right here as a goal uh, this is gonna be very soon in January possibly February but I don't think it's gonna go to February it's probably gonna be you know mid January late January but this is gonna be something cool and I'm actually really excited for this so yes this will be coming soon you know wow you know just looking at all these goals we kind of do have a lot of goals so that's awesome alright next thing right here 
So it's kind of weird, but we do want to learn how to cook. I do want to learn how to cook. The only thing I know how to learn how to cook is like three things. Number one, egg. Probably the most best thing on my resume, if you will. I know how to cook scrambled eggs. They suck, but I know how to do it. Second thing on the list I know how to cook is um, uh, cereal. I know how to make cereal, bro. And the final thing I'm a best at, this, this is where I, I'm ham, bro. I do this so much. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm a beast at this. I, I do it by ear. I just know the sounds. I've learned the sounds over time. You don't know the sounds when you first start. This is just a pointless and wasting seconds of your life. But popcorn, I'm a beast. I make a popcorn. But I do want to learn how to cook, bro. Uh, you know, I want to learn how to make, you know, classic dis dishes. Uh, we eat a lot of brown food. So, you know, rice, chicken, all that type of stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Spicy food. So, I want to learn how to cook. I do not want to learn how to cook a ghost pepper or eat one ever again in my life. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Next thing on the list is to teach at some level. This is a huge thing. I'm very grateful for the teachers that I have in this program that I'm in. I've learned the, the value uh, that a teacher can provide, especially a teacher who provides and uh, who actually cares about his students more than you think. That's something they told us. So much respect to my teachers. I want to give back to my teachers, but I also want to teach at some level. It could be anything. It could be secular, non-secular, spiritual, non-spiritual. Anything that I've learned, I want to learn. I want to start teaching because not only does it help you retain the knowledge you've gained, it actually helps you make it, uh, you know, a one-on-one -on -one impact in an individual's life. So I want to change, teach at some level. College, Sunday school, I don't know if I could teach college, graduate college, but hey, you, you never know, high school, whatever. I want to teach at some level, that's something I definitely want to do. Another thing is also furthering my education. We graduated college in 2015, I do intend to start something or start looking into further edge, uh, further getting my education, right? Maybe a master program, a PhD program, whatever it may be, but I do want to further my education. And um, look, you're like, what about YouTube? You're not going to put your time into YouTube, bro. Listen, I'm going to school from 8 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. That is over 14 hours a day. And obviously, I gotta wake up at seven, right? And obviously, I, time I get back home is around nine. So whatever, seven to a.m. to nine p.m. You could do the math right there. That's the whole day almost. And we're still doing YouTube. We're still working on CG meeting, doing all that. Obviously, once summer ends, that eight thirty a.m. to seven a.m. whatever to eight thirty nine p.m. that that's gone. That's not gonna be. That's not gonna be the daily schedule anymore. So even if I'm taking a, a and dude, I was I was going ham uploading YouTube with what seventeen college classes, right? So trust me, bro. Any part time master program, whatever, ain't gonna stop me from YouTube. Three hours once a week, that is nothing, dog. Or even six hours once a week, that's nothing, bro. So don't even worry about that. That ain't gonna stop YouTube, man. That's just that's just me trying to, like I told you, to prove that to individuals that you can do anything you want if you put your mind to it, bro. Anything, anything. Okay, so now the next thing right here. Oh wow, that is so weird. But the next thing on the list is basically literally what I just said to prove up to others that individuals that they put their mind into something, it's possible. I actually wrote that as a goal because I want to do that. Like I told you, I want to do a lot of things, and time is very valuable and limited. And I want to do everything I can. I want to make the most out of my life, bro. I want to do YouTube, but YouTube's not just it. I want to. I want to change. You know, I want to just make a difference, man, and do anything I can. But I don't go. Don't get me wrong. YouTube's my baby. YouTube is my baby. That this is this is YouTube. So YouTube ain't going nowhere. It's number one. It's one. Of, it's really really high on the list. That's one of the first things I talked about. But I'm grateful for YouTube, bro. And obviously, there's so many plans we have in YouTube as well. Some things I can't say, but uh, obviously, I'm really excited for what's to come this year. Next, the next thing we have on the list is a book. So you know, I remember I did this. I think two years ago, I made a re resolution about a book. I mean, I think it was last year, two years ago. Uh, I want to make a book and I'm actually kind of in the process of doing so in terms of the planning stages but you know it could be a book of any kind but I do want to make a book for sure this year and I, I don't think it's going to be I don't know if it's going to be like the life of you know how I wanted to do like my life story uh, you know I was I guess I've gotten a little bit more mature over the year and I guess to make a story like that there's still a lot more things to do in my life but I do intend to make a book of some sort uh, it could be secular it could be non-secular but expect something of that level it might not be 500,000 pages but expect some type of book. That's definitely something I'm really planning, and I'm actually in the planning stages at right now. All right, next thing. This is a huge one. We're almost done. We literally have like four more left. That's it. The next one is speaking publicly. This is a huge thing I want to do. Listen, like I told you guys in my last video. Oh, if you watched my pack opening, bro, I told you guys this. Uh, speaking publicly. This is a huge thing, man. I've actually recently, you know, I've gained confidence to speak publicly uh, because it's, you know, if I, if I can make YouTube videos, let me just tell you a quick story. I was once to school, right? College, right? I had a class. In this class, I would barely talk. I would barely talk, bro. I would literally just be in front of class, just watching Bulls games the whole time in class. I was a quiet kid, right? Quiet kid, doesn't do anything, right? Just a little innocent, quiet little kid. So we get in our group program. Uh, we get in our group team, so we have a final presentation in this thing, right? It's our group final, and we had to have a nice long 15-minute speech. Everyone in the group, everyone in the group has, you know, their turn speaking. 
So we were we, we, we communicated through email and met once in person. We all picked our our respective things that we had to speak about, and then we had to go speak. So I'm like third, I'm fourth to speak. You know, everyone's giving their speeches. Everyone's in classes listening to our final presentation, and I'm I'm obviously the quiet guy. So it's my turn to speak now. All eyes are on me. I barely can say anything in class. I there's nothing really I had to say in class. So I barely say anything in class. And guess what? This is so cool. I'm on YouTube. I talked about Amazon. You know, we had our company was Amazon, and you know when I want to talk to Amazon. I was like, bro, dude, I do this all the time. Twitch is part of Amazon. Amazon.com is part of Amazon, obviously, right? Twitch is part of Amazon. So I knew what I was talking about, dog. So I literally just went up and I talked like I'm making a video right now. And everybody was like, what the heck? Even my group mates were like, what the heck? I was just talking in confidence, man. Even my teacher's like, what the heck? And after he's like, man, do you like do selling and stuff? Like I make videos. He's like, okay. I, you know, I'm grateful he gave me an A. Anyways, I'm not trying to be cocky. I'm just saying, you know, I'm happy speaking. I don't have a problem speaking now, bro. And, you know, when you have a responsibility like, like this and I'm speaking to you guys I feel like it's my responsibility to give back to the community and give back to other communities such as high schools right I want to get I want to start talking to high schools uh, to tell them anything is possible share some of the accomplishments I've done and the the things that man a lot of you guys in high school bro I talk to you guys all the time I'm telling you bro anything is possible I was just in high school three years ago like I told you guys in the last video I was in high school three years ago or four years ago bro I graduated high school in 2012 I started in 2010 I graduated high school in two and a half years I was doing some non-secular education for a year and a half so I started high school as a sophomore and high school school second semester I had to take online classes I had to do all this crazy stuff to graduate on time in two and a half years and uh, like I said in my senior year I was taking classes with freshmen because I didn't go to freshman year I take health and some other classes bro so you know if I actually talk to high school this year especially my old high school I'll be talking to some seniors now but freshmen when I was with them it's crazy and you know anything is possible bro. so I want to definitely talk to my high school first I'm gonna be calling them this month uh, but obviously other high schools as well so speaking that's definitely a big one okay so that's pretty much it for the goals but now I have some very very important goals like these are all very 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 good goals that I had but these are more goals of accomplishments now these goals are necessities very huge we're already over 20 minutes wow every year is gonna get longer but you know what that's fine that's fine you watch this video you watch the video you don't you don't these are my goals and I really can't wait to hear your goals in the comments down below but this is a huge one bro a huge goal that I have and these next three yes that's all three left these are the most important I know I've said YouTube and all that stuff no this I swear these next three are the best goals and the most important goals if you made it this far if you made it this far then it goes down like you already know it's these are the most important goals number one no pride no pride toward others no pride toward others this is a huge one this is something that we see athletes and we see not you know some athletes and we see some celebrities and some people with power uh, who act like this and who show pride toward others pride basically means you think you are better than someone I'm talking about pride for oneself proud of someone's accomplishment I'm talking about showing pride toward other individuals thinking that you yourself a human being you yourself a a son or daughter are better than somebody else that's called pride toward others arrogance I do not want to have that and if you think I start to have that through my venues let me know in the comments down below because I have to work on myself no pride toward others a very common example is I don't know you go to a restaurant it's sold out you can't get in you didn't get a reservation but like, you know what I'm this person I'm STG I have to get in I'm better than all these people these are just nobodies that's pride toward others that's arrogance never want to have any slight bit of arrogance it's very bad and I really pray that I don't get that so that's one huge thing always keep my myself in a constant check of making sure I don't have pride and I'm not arrogant toward others the next thing this is probably one of the biggest things I've ever and this is being grateful being in a constant state of gratefulness like I told you and this is one thing I would emphasize every time I go on a speech always be grateful bro if you're in high school be grateful why because some even if you know you might be in high school you're not doing too well or you can't really afford for many other things besides high school you're in financial aid whatever the case may be bro there's some people in the world other side of the world who can't even get education and I'm not talking about education I'm talking about like elementary school education there's some people in the world who don't even know if they're gonna live the next day there's some people in the world who see their fathers and their mothers die right in front of their faces man and this is nothing funny this is some serious stuff and this stuff goes around the whole world there's some people who literally eat mud with water go on YouTube on Facebook I saw this man some people in Africa are eating and they're excited it's literally just mud and water they mix it together and make cookies out of that and they eat that bro and they're excited it tastes like crap but they still eat that stuff bro always 
always, always be in a state of gratefulness. Always be grateful. Be grateful for every single thing you have, every single blessing you have to see, to speak. People can Some people can't see. Some people can't speak. Some people can't hear. Every single sense you have, some people don't have that. There's so many things that we should be grateful and blessed for, bro. It's a beautiful blessing. Take advantage of that blessing. You're in high school. Be in high school and take advantage of that blessing and make the most out of high school. You're in college. Take that blessing and make the most out of college, bro. For any single situation you're in, you're playing basketball. Be the best basketball player, bro. Some people can't even play basketball. Be happy. Be grateful that you have the body, the capability to play basketball, to do so many crazy things in life that you can do that so many other people can't and would wish to do so. And the biggest thing is the main necessities of life, your house, your water, and your your clothing, you know, family. Be grateful for that always. And I'm speaking to myself, speaking to myself first and foremost times 2055 million degrees, talking to myself first and foremost, bro. And the final thing I have to finish off this list, and I know we're going pretty long, this is to become a better person. This is to become a better person. There's always ways I can improve. Uh, there's many ways I can improve. Millions of ways I can improve. I want to become a better person. You know, this is the most important thing. I can get all these cool accomplishments. If I'm a sucky person, my character sucks, my loyalty sucks, my friendship sucks, my the way I treat my family, my my friends, my parents. You know, like, like this, all this crazy stuff, bro. This is this is stuff that we have to improve, and I'm including myself as well. So I want to become a better person for sure. Definitely want to, you know, you know, maybe you know, learn to start cleaning the house a little bit better, right? Stop being a little bit more lazy. Start cleaning the dishes. You know, there's so many ways we can improve. So that's definitely one thing. So the three things that I just mentioned, which are the most important important on the list um, obviously no pride no pride grateful and to become a better person these three things if you can do this and maximize the most out of your day then these goals that you have they are important but they're nowhere near as important because the person who you are inside is obviously more important than the person who you portray to be right I can easily go and portray to be all this cool guy all this awesome guy but if I'm not like that inside there's no point bro I like to be really real in my video it's really real I'm talking to you guys bro I, I, I haven't shared all these goals to nobody else besides you guys man I don't even know my friends my family gonna see this bro but I'm talking to you guys because I trust you guys and I really really want the I really want the best for y'all too screw it I talk for 25 minutes I can talk for 10 more man five more whatever it doesn't really matter you're watching this video this late you're watching this video man I'm grateful I'm grateful if you're watching this on freedom channel you know much respect to you guys if you're watching this on my channel much respect to you guys I'm really grateful I've shared you guys a lot of my goals bro there's a lot of my goals like I said there are still some goals that I just can't share some personal some personal spiritual goals that I can't you know obviously I just can't share uh, obviously but you know these are really a huge bunch and obviously there's some things that probably will pop up in my mind and I'm thinking of some things right now that I've wanted to do in 2016 I still want to do but I'm not gonna have that on my goals because some I want to really found foundationalize the stuff that I've already started such as Gamer GM brand exposure and this I don't even want to say the name yet but this charity application that we've been working on for a long time but make moves team STG and everybody watching this video follow your dreams work hard listen man I'm not gonna make no six minute goal I'm not gonna make no two minute goal video bro you know I was thinking about it but screw it I have so many goals and I'm gonna share with you guys in depth I'm gonna talk to you guys if you're gonna watch this video long enough to watch it these are my goals and I want to see this video in a year after I'm grateful for what we've done in 2015 but 2016 we got to do some work we got to do some work what I've learned is life is always gonna get harder but you know you got to make through you're gonna get you're gonna get you're gonna get more mature you're gonna be able to handle the time and you're gonna be like you know what I did this before this is nothing you know you just, you just gotta let, let life come to you but you gotta keep on working hard but if you are always in a state of gratefulness I promise you out of all these things this is one of the biggest things if you're always in a state of being you know grateful for everything you have then life will be so much simpler life will be so much simpler this is one thing that I've really learned over the past couple of months if you're always in a state of grateful for example YouTube channel that was a very personal example but my YouTube channel obviously has not been growing really much past couple of months but I am so grateful to even because I don't make videos right I'm so busy right now but even uh, since I'm not making videos y'all still watching my videos you guys are still supporting I'm so grateful for that why would I complain of my channel not growing when you guys are always there when you guys are like that's selfish of me that's selfish of me bro I'm happy with everyone who watched the videos now. If more people come in the future, more people will come in the future. I'm grateful for that. Always be in a state of gratefulness when you eat, when you realize people have, you know, this people might go to the Bulls game, bro, having the time of my life. We're going to make a video on that today. Having the time of my life at a Bulls game. Then as soon as you go outside, you see homeless people asking for money, bro. It's a reality. It's sad. It's sad. I want to help the world, bro. But first, we got to help ourselves and we got to obviously help our family. 
them worried about the world but don't ever forget about the world bro because they need you we need everybody bro i'm gonna talk for 45 minutes so i'm gonna end this video very soon team stg if i share with you guys my goals i really hope you guys enjoy this video my friends team stg uh obviously man I, I have a lot of goals as well man there's so many goals but you know i don't want to make this video now these are just some of the goals I have for you guys, Team STG. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you give this video a like. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And make sure you let me know your resolutions. I talked for almost 30 minutes, probably 30 minutes by the end of the time this video was done. I expect to see a huge list of your goals in the comments down below. I don't want no comments. I don't want, I don't want just, I want to get better at basketball. Why do you want to get better at basketball? How much better do you want to get better, better at basketball? And that can't be your only goal this year. You're only one, you're, when your only one goal is to get better at basketball, listen, bro, you go for more than that. I, I'm so happy you want to get better at basketball, but screw that, man. Get better at basketball, get better grades, be a better family a member. You know, do everything, bro. Everything. I want at least 10 goals. At least 10 goals in the comments down below. At least 10 goals. I think we could do that. At least 10 goals. Let me know in the comments down below that you guys have for 2016. Let's get this done. Let's get this done. Peace.